Hey everyone, my name is Elo Bandit. Today I bring you part two of the Mono Move 1v1. Um, this is going to be a Volt Switch versus U turn battle with my good friend the Electros, and I will link to his channel in the description. Basically, how this works is uh, each of the six Pokemon on either team only get one move, and in this case, it will be all of mine will have Volt Switch, all of his will have U turn, and then we'll flip it around and all of mine will have U turn, U -turn all of his will have Volt Switch goal is to find out which of the moves is better in this strange scenario. Uh, rules include no Megas. Um, all Pokemon must hold an item, but there are no duplicate items allowed. Also, we are banning recovery items like Citrus Berry and Leftovers. Also, no ground types because otherwise Volt Switch would be completely walled. Without further ado, here's round one. Alrighty, here we are in battle. Volt Switch versus U Turn. All of mine carry only Volt Switch. All of his carry only U Turn. Let's see how this goes. I've got a Light Ball Pikachu, a Rocky Helmet Fortress, Choice Specs Jolteon, Magnet Magnezone, Zap Plate Cobalion, and Life Orb Thunderous. Um, I'm going to lead off with my fastest Jolteon, and he's going to lead with Scizor, who's probably banded. So I'm going to outspeed and switch off into my fortress. Okay, I'm going to switch off to my fortress. And I will volt switch after he U-turns. I'll be honest, I think that uh, Rocky Helmet Fortress is a little bit overpowered in this. Does he have anything that can actually do enough damage to it, is the question. So he's got a uh, Hydreigon, uh, 324 speed. Um, that means I should go into Jolteon. And just back into my Fortress. Rocky Helmet Chip is way too high. So he brings in his Mind Shot, who will regenerate some um, chip damage, but he's gonna immediately switch to his probably Hydreigon again. And yep, here comes Hydreigon, so I'm gonna full switch out. Go into my Jolteon will outspeed and I can go back into Fortress before he hits me. Oh, is he running Bright Powder? He is. So I actually missed the Volt Switch and he lands the U-turn. Going into his Mind Show, okay. So I'll outspeed. and bring in my fortress. He's gonna take more chip damage and go out into his No idea. Mesprit, okay. Lagging tail met I wonder if he actually is running a lagging tail. I wouldn't put it past him. Um Or he could be juking me out and he's actually running scarf. I wouldn't put it past him. So I'm gonna go into my Magnezone, I think. No, Cobalion. Yeah, Magnezone. Let's find out how fast he is, if he's really lagging tail. Okay, so he is actually lagging tail. I really didn't expect that. Or at least he's not speed invested. Although lagging tail, honestly, isn't that bad of an idea. I, I'm not using that on my set, but I can see that working pretty well. So when comes his Hydreigon again. 
Can, of course, take more chip damage. I think my odds are looking pretty good here. I, I can practically wall everything with just Fortress. It's a very good thing that uh, duplicate items aren't allowed because if I were to just put more than one Rocky Helmet, I would basically win by default. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to Pikachu here. Because I know I outspeed and I hit really, really hard with my Light Ball. Yep, good damage. I'll go into Cabalion. Why not? Do zero damage. Wow. This is this is why we decided to ban stuff like leftovers. Because the chip damage is so low in some cases that it would just be less than zero when you factor in leftovers recovery. Alright, so he brings out his Hydreigon again. Um heal out speed, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and go right back in my fortress without bolt switching. Let him take all that chip damage and actually go down. Which means I have two of his out of the game, and I still have all six of my own. Although my fortress is running low on HP, meaning I can't abuse this for too much longer. His Mesper goes down, and I will go with my Thunderous, because I haven't used him yet. That's the only reason. So the Volt Switch team has a huge advantage in using Rocky Helmet, whereas the U-Turn um, team has an advantage with Assault Vest. Um, although I'm not sure how much of a difference uh, a spidef boost is compared to chip damage every turn. I'm using the Celebi too. You wouldn't really think that Celebi would be super necessary for a Volturn team, but it is grass type, so it resists electric, and it um it has a base 100 across the board stat, so its its attack stat isn't actually very low. In comes Scizor. It's actually a fast Scizor, or maybe I'm just extremely slow. That would be it. I'm just extremely slow. Alright, so I'll go into my Pikachu here. Volt Switch. Into my Kobalion. Take zero damage from him. I'm gonna go Fortress and get chip damage onto the Scizor. Looks like Fortress only has one hit left. So he's gonna t t bring in Celebi to do that last little bit. Or I could save him and just switch directly to Cabalion. Probably a better option. In comes Scizor again. I'll outspeed. I'm not gonna go into Fortress, I'm gonna save that. I'm instead going to... Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to go to Fortress because then I can finish off him next time with uh, a fast switch. He's going to bring in his Celebi and I'm good to bring in my Cobalion. Or even better, I can just bring in Jolteon and switch into Cobalion. Because my Cabalion is totally tanky. He's not really meant to do damage. He's just meant to, to take hits. And that's it. And he is doing that extremely well. Here's Scizor. Going to go down to a single volt switch. And I can bring Jolteon back out. A quick volt switch into... My Cabalion means I'll take no damage at all. And let's see what his mascot can do. The old Electro. <laughs> Electros. With a great name. The direct switch back into Celebi. Interesting. Okay. So I'll go Pikachu and just smack him really hard with my light ball. 
not that hard actually. I think I think Celebi is, is his assault vest if I had to guess. So I am going to not take out a Selby. Never mind. Okay. Um, now, if he doesn't switch, his Selby will go down here. Okay, so the Selby's gone. And I'm fine to bring in my fast Jolteon. It's interesting how he decided to keep his one at full health. I wonder if that was a good or bad strategy. I'm really not sure. Oh, that's clever. I like that a lot. That, oh my god, that's really good. I really like that. So what he did is he, um, he boosted his special attack by getting hit, and then um, he doesn't switch out with it, so he actually has some significant damage. All right, but I can continue with my um, fast switch to tank. Tank takes the hit. Oh, wait. Did I... I did something wrong there. Did something very wrong there. Okay. I can go into my fast and switch quickly into my tank. And then my tank can switch slowly back into my fast. Or at least that's what I would do if my tank was actually slower. That's why it didn't work before. Okay, so but I can bring a Magnezone. Not going to take very much damage. And Volt Switch means I will take the win. Okay, here's round two of Volt Switch versus U-Turn. This time I'm U-Turn and he is Volt Switch. All of my Pokemon will only carry U-Tune, all of his only carry Volt Switch, and I am running a Banded Scissor, a Life Orb Regenerator Mind Shell, uh, Salt Vest Electros, Insect Plate Mew, Silver Powder Celebi, and a Choice Scarf Tinted Lens Venomoth. The reason for that is because a lot of his stuff will resist, and Tinted Lens doubles uh, damage if it's resisted. So I figure I can uh, get off a quick U-Turn that will do enough damage even though it's resisted, without actually ending up taking a hit, since I'll be switched out to the Choice Scarf. So, without further ado, let's get this started. I'm going to start with my Scizor, as he leads with his Zapdos. So, we can see that, uh... He will outspeed me, and probably go into his Fortress, would be my guess. So there's the fortress. There's the rocky helmet. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna try out this Venomoth. I wanna see if this actually works as well as I think it might. It did not do very much at all, unfortunately. But I'm gonna show him the mad BM and go into my Electros which is his mascot. He is, in fact, the Electros. Right there, he's got the <laughs> sad face. Okay. So let's see what he wants to bring in versus his own favorite Pokemon. He's got a Thunderous. And um, I'm extremely tanky. I've got the slow Assault Vest. So... He's going to go out into his fortress. Now, I need to do something about this fortress. Um, and I think the best option is my mind shout, since it will regen all of the uh, all the damage I take. So I'll take the rocky helmet and the life orb damage. But I'll be fine to switch out into my Electros. The rest of his team, Cabalion is definitely a threat. Um, Jolteon definitely outspeeds everything I have. Magnezone is also not going to be extremely fun to deal with. 
So he's gonna outspeed. I think what I'm gonna do is... I would like to keep my Electros alive because it's extremely tanky. But I am just gonna go ahead and U-turn into what I'm sure is gonna be his fortress. No, his Cabalion. Interesting. Okay. So he's got his Cabalion. Um, I guess this is the time when I'm supposed to use Venomoth. Since he does resist the hit. Even so, um, Venomoth just doesn't have that much damage on it. Um, yeah, see, barely any. 7% of his health. This is why we disallowed stuff like Leftovers. I'll go into my Celebi, take his Volt Switch like it's nothing. In comes Zapdos. Oh, interesting, he's using Sticky Barb. You know what, I actually considered using Sticky Barb, but I ended up deciding against it. Sticky Barb, um, for those of you that don't know, it damages the holder every turn. But if I attack him, um, I get Sticky Barb. However, I don't think it applies if I already have an item. So I'm going to... Yeah, just hit U-turn. He actually outspeeds, so it doesn't really make a difference here. I don't think the Sticky Barb was a great idea, though. He goes into Magnezone. And I will go into... 40... I guess my Scizor. Only problem is if he goes into Fortress, that's not going to be a lot of fun. I think I'm going to pull a double switch. I'm going to go Scizor. And I'm going to switch out. Oh, it's... Unless he's Magnet Pull. He's not Magnet Pull. Okay. Oh my god, what?! What? What was that damage? That must have been choice specs, I'm sure. Oh my god, that was such such a bad play. I should not have gone into Oh, I have so much regret right now. Okay. He's got his Thunderous. I'm gonna try Venom off again. So that actually did some damage. That did 42%. I am extremely happy with that. Um, all right, I'll go into my Celebi. At this point, he knows that my Venom off is scarfed. But, um, yeah. So he's going to switch into his Fortress. He really enjoys racking up that chip damage. However, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if there's actually a Pokemon with Magic Guard in the turn. There probably is, and I should have thought to use that. Nope. There are no Pokemon with Magic Guard in U turn. Huh. Interesting. Oh, please don't go back into Fortress. I'm sure he's going to. Yep. That Rocky Helmet absolutely obliterates just everything. It's just way too good. So I've got my uh, Insect Plate Mew. 
who I haven't used yet for whatever reason. So he is going to take me out here, and um, that means that I will get the drop on whatever he wants to lead with. If he wants to go fast Jolteon, then I can bring in something. Oh, no, he goes to Zapdos. So I am good to bring in my Venomoth. I'll just hit U turn and it does a significant amount. I'm, I actually do like this uh, tinted lens Venomoth. I think that's that's a pretty good thing. So I'll go to, back to my Mew. That thunderous hits like a truck. That is a lot of damage. And then, yeah, the chip damage would be enough to take me out. This fortress is just a pain. Then again, I use the Fortress on my Bolt Switch team, so I can't really complain. I I should have used a Thunderous. That thing just hits so unbelievably hard. Can I finish it with the Choice Band here? I can. Finally, Fortress goes down. Thank goodness. So, here's my Scarf Moth. Hopefully he doesn't go Jolteon. I really don't want to see him go someone faster than me. So he does go into Magnezone. Okay, so whoever... I, I can either sack Scizor or Celebi. And I think I'm going to go with, actually, what's his six? I'm going to sack Scizor because Scizor doesn't outspeed anything. And there is his Thunderous again. So he'll go into his, probably would be my guess is uh, Jolteon since it will outspeed. But it's actually going to be Magnezone who will just be able to finish me off with no problem. Oh my god. That thing hits like a truck. That's unbelievable. Okay, well... Good game to the Electros. And it appears that Volt Switch has triumphed over U-Turn twice, and that Volt Switch is going to be the stronger move in this scenario.